You are now live. Good morning. Wait, hold please. Hold, holding fast. Holding, holding, holding. And we're up. Woo, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's kayak, yak, yak, yak. And caffeine. How's everybody doing? It's Thursday morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Woo, first check, 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 check. Stopwatch, check, because yesterday it went a little long. I failed again. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're going to start the stopwatch now. I'm going to go uh, 10, 10, 12 minutes. Number two, caffeine. Got the caffeine. I've had already four cups, so I'm good to go. All right, you guys. This is called Kayaks and Caffeine, and this is a, a, little, a little, little thing about just talking about what it is to express who you are. And if you're in group fitness, if you're in personal training, if you're a, a strength and conditioning coach, if you want to open a studio, if you want to up your game and think out of the box, that's what this is about. But here's the thing, it's so much more because you see, the principles of fitness, aka life, applies to everyone. So please tell your friends. Uh, uh, have them follow, follow, follow along, tune in there Monday through Friday uh, uh, at uh, this time, and uh, we're gonna just, just throw it down and think out of the box, out of the box. Yeah, I had a lot of caffeine today. So uh, as, we go, as, as I did yesterday, I wanna start, hi guys, hey, good morning. I wanna start with a quote. You guys, I love this thing called the Daily Stoic. I said it yesterday. If you're not following them, it's amazing. I love Stoicism. I gave you Ryan Holiday's name. He wrote this book called The Obstacle is the Way. Hi, 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 what's up? Um, and then he also wrote a book called The Ego is the Enemy. These books are freaking awesome. So um, check them out. All right, so the quote today comes from Marcus Aurelius. Okay, here we go. An infected mind is a far more dangerous pestilence than any plague. One only threatens your life, the other destroys your character. Whew, what a perfect quote for right now by Marcus Aurelius, right? I'll say it again. An infected mind is a far more dangerous pestilence than any plague. One only threatens your life, the other destroys your character. Our character is being tested now more than ever. Guys, here's the deal. People need people. That's my, that's my belief and, and my, my, my dream is that when this is over, we all rush out and everybody changes their career and calls, us, calls me up and we build out, everyone has a fitness studio and we're all serving, serving, serving in the world just about expressing and doing fitness all together in one big group. I love the online stuff, I love it, but I'm telling you, the future is people. Believe in people, believe in the human heart. There's no better relationship between than student and teacher coach and athlete and there's no internet that can replace that so please 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 believe in people and believe in all of us together because it's gonna happen all right that's my little thing let me get right to the questions whoo we all right man so many questions you guys keep them coming keep them coming tell your friends regardless if you're in business or or or, or, or you're in a sales or i don't know what field you're in this is stuff that pertains to serving others and helping others be better than you so yesterday before i get to the questions we talked about the difference between empowering motivating and inspiration and we said the key to all of it is empowerment empowerment is the idea of taking your knowledge your genius zone attaching it to a purpose and then setting it free. And in doing so, your goal is to make whoever you give that to better than you. And then when that happens, they become motivated, emotions arise, and then they're inspired, they wanna get it out. And when they get it out there, guess what? It comes back to you and you feel motivated and inspired. So the idea is about empowering, taking your knowledge and giving that gift to someone else with the hopes of making them better than you. Whether you're in sales, or in the medical profession, or in engineering, or in fitness, this applies. This is how we change the world, one body at a time. Everyone should wanna change the world one body at a time. All right, let's get to these questions. Woo, I got a great topic today too, by the way. Three minutes, 34 seconds in, I'm doing great. Christian, what's up, my brother from another mother? Okay. Great trainer, by the way. Go see Christian. Hit him up. Okay, so um, first question I got yesterday. What is your go-to motivator when you're not feeling like working out? What is your go-to motivator when you're not feeling like working out? It's simple. I have never worked out in my life. I don't believe in that word. For me, training or working out is about exploring self. So who would not want to get up every day and explore themselves? You see, we gotta change, think out of the box. It's not work. I said this on an interview with Michael Beckwith, the guy who uh, created The Secret with Bob Proctor and the Agape Church. I said, I used to, I used to call back in LA, let's, let's play it out. It's playtime and you're playing with the idea of understanding and learning more about yourself. 
through failure. So it's never ever about working out. So if you have a day that you're like, I don't feel like going to work out, I don't feel like moving, say, but I do wanna learn more about myself. The only way you can learn about yourself is to fail. What is the funnest and fastest way to fail? Get moving, do some sort of physical activity and you will learn so much about yourself. Bruce Lee said it's about self-knowledge. The only way you can truly understand yourself is to move and fail. So to answer your question, you should always be interested in wanting to learn about yourself. So if you have a day you don't feel like getting to the gym or turning on an online workout or doing your 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, think about this idea. What can I learn about myself today if I go through these actions? And you will always be inspired, motivated, and empowered to learn more about yourself. That's how I would do that. That's what I do every day. That's how I kept myself going for the last 20 years. It's understanding that it's about playing it out and learning about yourself, not about competing with others. We talked about that yesterday a little bit, right? Competition versus creation, right? Here's the deal, guys. I don't believe in competing. I believe competitors are the greatest thing that ever happened to us. Why? Because they show us what's not working within us. So you don't compete with your competitor. You use them as a way of seeing, wow, they're doing something better than me so I can learn from them so I can be better for my clientele. So I've never been into competing. I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna beat you. Like when we go in and do our in-work in workshops, and there's a, a brand we're working with and maybe a big box gym opened up next, next to them. I'm like, this is awesome! Because now you can see what they're doing better than you, learn and become better. And you, there's enough for everybody, guys. There's enough for everybody. So love your competitors. I love my competitors because they're doing something I'm not. So instead of me hating on them and calling them names and bashing them, I'm going, wow, you're doing this better than me. Like for example, let's say I have a pizza restaurant and I'm a small town pizza shop, and a big pizza shop opens up next to me. I'm not gonna go, I hate you, I'm gonna crush you, I'm gonna trash you on social. I'm gonna go, wow, your sauce is better than my sauce, but I have better cheese. So what am I gonna do? Not hate on you, I'm gonna love you, and I'm gonna make my sauce better. So now I can be a better product for what? Serving my clients. It's always about serving your clients, serving the world, changing the world one body at a time. So let's all make pizzas, yay! Okay, enough of that, six minutes. Question number two, oh, here's a deep one. Uh, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, here's a deep one. What's one of the first steps you took to let the world truly know who you are? Christian, are you still on? I got, a, I got one for you, brother. You'll remember this. One of our first coaches, I've known Christian a long time, one of our first coaches, her name was Alice, and she said to us, the root of the thing is never the thing itself. The root of the thing is never the thing itself. 20 years old, that stuck with me. Um, anyway, so to answer this question, how do you truly, how do you take the steps to let the world truly know who you are? You embrace your failures. You embrace your imperfection, right? <laughs> We're not in the business of serving people so they serve you. We're in the business of serving others so we can serve them. So the idea is when you embrace the things that are wrong with you, not hide it or fake it or try to bully your way through things, we connect to you. And as a coach, as a teacher, as a salesperson, you're trying to solve someone else's problem by connecting to them, saying, listen, I have the same problem, right? It's all about saying, yes, I have, I have a lot of problems, guys. Woo-wee! I have, I have drank more ego Kool-Aid. I have screwed up more relationships, business and personal than I know what to do with, right? Oh, I just got a note from the producer, hold on. The, th the thing that you think is wrong with you is the thing that'll make you great. That's exactly right. So what, what I've always done to truly shine through is not trying to build myself up, but be vulnerable when I teach or when I lecture these studios or these brands to say, yo, the things that you're doing wrong, the things that you think you're, you don't have right is what makes you great. Oh, my brand is too small. I can't beat a, a big brand that comes in next to you. What you have going for you is you're small. So how do we, how do we really help those that get that personal attention that the big box can't give you? Right, my thing was, I never thought I was athletic enough, right? I like dance, I like the expression. So when I, would get on, when I would get in front of these really great athletes, I would freak out, but you know what the funny thing was? When I embraced my imperfection, I started training more pro athletes than I ever could think of. Embrace your failure, embrace what you think you're not. Guys, the thing that you think is wrong with you is the thing that'll make you great. This bullying shit's gotta stop. 
Everyone is allowed to express how they feel and open a business and sell and create products and do things. There's plenty for everybody. So I'll say it again. The thing that you think is wrong with you is the thing that'll make you great. When you're teaching group fitness or personal training and want to open a brand, whether it's fitness or otherwise, start with your faults and build from there. Because we're all have, we all have faults and the people that can relate to your faults are the ones that are going to love you and tell their friends. Woo, that was dope. All right, I got two minutes. Oh, no. Okay, um, Annie. Oh, Annie, I miss you so much. Yes, we'll figure it out. Those that added, uh, shot me some messages about wanting me to program workouts for them, I'll do that today by end of day. Whether you're in California or Central or Eastern, uh, we'll do that today for sure. Um, oh, T I want Tina out in the OC. Yo, she loved our seminars. Thank you so much. Well, all our seminars now, all our institute seminars, when we come in and we think out of the box and we level you up and we, we create the experience we create the customer experience for you and in your branded experience are now officially uh, accredited by the NASM and the AFAA. We're working with the big dogs, big dogs. Yeah, big shout out to NASM and AFAA for, for wanting to work with us. And so all our seminars, guys, when we come into your studio and we shake it up and we get you out of the box, are all gonna give you CEU credit. So that's really exciting too. We just had that happen. It's really exciting, right? Work with like-minded people. There's no competition. It's just about creating. Okay, uh, what's that? Oh, I got, okay, tomorrow, I gotta, I gotta go because I'm gonna keep this under 10 minutes, you guys. Guys, guys, send me more questions. Tell your friends, regardless of your profession, let me help you think out of the box. How to connect, how to create. Remember, selling is the greatest profession ever. And to me, selling just means solving someone's problem. That's all it is. And if we can solve someone else's problem, in turn, someone will solve our problem. And what an amazing world this will be. So tomorrow's, tomorrow's lecture, don't miss it, it's a good one. It's this idea, I got a question about how do you control the room? Whether you're in sales, whether you're a motivational speaker, whether you're in fitness, whether whatever your, whatever your thing is, how do you control the room? How do you truly control the room? And I don't mean in a controlling way, like, I'm the best, I'm the strongest, I have all these titles, listen to me, wah, 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 wah. No, titles are black. I had, to have, I had a bunch of titles, I don't mean anything. Blah, 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 blah. How do you control the room and truly create an emotional experience for someone so they connect to you? That's tomorrow's. All right, guys, I'm at 11.50. I'm sorry if I ran too, too late. Send me questions, hit me up. We're getting this going. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to Kayaks and Caffeine. Tell your friends, follow me. We'll talk tomorrow, same time. I love you. Bye. That was great, babe.